Hey everyone, let's talk about some more ride products. Before we get this video started, I just want to say thank you to our patrons. Yes, because you guys are awesome and thank you so much for your support. All right, let's get the video started. What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video. If it's your first time here, my name is Harold Strange and this is One Strange Adventure. So our channel is all about RV living, about traveling the country, finding upgrades that make your life a little bit easier. Today we are talking about five more ride products that's gonna make your RV life a little bit easier and you should probably consider upgrading with these. Okay, so the five things we're gonna be talking about today. Number one, the rubber pin box. Number two, sliding cargo tray. Number three, we're gonna talk about some stairs. Number four, we're gonna talk about a storage box that you can actually use in an existing space on your RV. And number five, we're gonna talk about these hand railings. They're pretty cool. Links to all of these products will be in the description below. I do wanna say some of these products we actually purchased. Some of them were provided by Moride so that we could test them out. So a huge thank you to Moride for these products. And let's go ahead and jump into the video and show you the first upgrade. Now this is a Moride rubber pin box and the reason it's a rubber one, it's called rubber, is because it has these rubber mechanisms in here. This piece actually slides back and forth so it actually absorbs a lot of the impact that you have when you hit the brakes or you hit the gas and accelerate. There's a couple things that are kind of the benefits of this. One, because it's actually absorbing some of the motion, it's going to reduce that back and forth, it's going to reduce some of the chucking that you may experience with other pin boxes. What does that translate to? That translates to a more comfortable ride in the truck for you and all your passengers. And anytime you can make things a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more easy, it definitely helps out on travel day. Another thing it's going to do, it's actually going to decrease the wear on your truck, uh, on the pin box itself and the, the RV. Because of the rubber mechanisms, it is absorbing a lot of the impact that's not translating up into the RV up into the frame. So that actually helps with the longevity of your RV, which is pretty nice. You want these things to last as long as you can. So this definitely helps. Now with the sliding tray, you get two options. One is 60% and 80% slide. What that means is how far it actually comes out of the storage area. This is a 60%, which is plenty for us. Now, one of the cool things about this cargo storage tray is how easy it makes it to access your totes or the stuff that you have way in the back, which is pretty nice. I can't tell you how many times I've had to tear everything out just to get something from the tote that's in the very back, which is so annoying. Now, the tray itself has a ball bearing, so it makes it super simple, it glides in and out, really easy to access, pretty much anybody can just take it and pull it right out. It takes very little effort at all. Another added benefit that this tray provides is that it actually keeps things from moving around. You see, we have a lot of stuff in here and those totes shift while you're going down the road, but the tray itself doesn't because it's actually screwed into the floor. So that helps keep our stuff pretty secure and this stuff doesn't go moving around on travel day. Now, something else about these trays saves you a lot of time. They actually come fully assembled and they have carpet in them too. So it makes it really nice, easy, just kind of drop it in, find the area that you need, screw it down to the floor, and you're ready to go. And you've actually added some functionality to your storage area. Now, another cool part about this tray is that you can actually adjust the height of uh, how much clearance it has so that it covers this, you know, it clears this front lip. But I have ours raised up all the way and it creates storage underneath it. So like we have our flagpole and we have some rugs uh, the batteries, a couple other odds and ends things, some flat tables that go, they slide right up in there. So you create additional storage, so you're not losing that. Now I will say the one thing is, is this is square in an awkward space. So you do lose some of the, uh, some of the capability of being able to store stuff. The height, it definitely takes up some in height, but the totes that we have, we can go too high, which is all we had anyways. Now let's take a look at how they installed it. 
So we're putting a riser kit on right now. What this is gonna do is it's gonna allow it to slide over top of this rail right here. Yeah, the lip of the baggage door. Okay. We have one and a half inches of clearance. And from what we've seen in the Grand Designs, it's like one and three quarter inches. Okay. Um, so usually they hit right here. So we're just raising up just enough okay. to clear all the way up top, which is right here, which gives you, I think it's like just over three inches of clearance. Okay. So again, if you want to slide, this is what would mount to the floor since the tray's upside right, down. Yeah. So you would have about that much clearance um, to store stuff underneath the tray. Okay. Or we can go all the way down like that. And so it's just enough to clear that lip. Okay. So a lot of people like that extra space underneath. Again, for anything flat, um, brooms, brushes, fishing poles, oars, anything like that. Yeah, all that thin stuff. Yep. Yeah. And do you want it as far forward as possible, I imagine? I would, yeah. Okay. And as far this way as possible, leave some area over there. Yeah. If that's if that's all right. Yeah, then. absolutely. Make a little bit further. Slide it out just a little bit. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now let's talk about stairs. Now, there's two different types that we have. One of them, the step above, which was it actually comes on the grand design. Uh, from the factory. So we didn't have these added, but they're definitely worth talking about. Then we had the flip up treads that were added to the garage. Those old like aluminum ones that kind of like fold out. We took those out and then we added the flip up treads. That way when it comes up into the garage, it saves a lot of space. Now it does create a gap underneath and we're gonna talk about that in just a moment. that easy. One of the cool things about these stairs is that it's like strut assist. So it's super simple to lift up, super light. Uh, pretty much anybody could do it and you just pop them right in. They do have adjustable legs and that way when you bring it down to the ground, you can bring the feet all the way to the ground and that provides for a solid step going all the way up into the RV. You don't feel it, you don't feel it in the RV, you don't feel it in the stairs. Now these are actually the flip up treads. So they are a little bit heavier. They don't have the, the strut assist. So it is a little bit more to pick them up, uh, but the legs still adjust and it creates a solid contact with the ground. That way they're not moving. The RV isn't moving as you're climbing up in it. So the cool thing about these stairs, as I mentioned, is that they do have the flip up treads. And with that, when you flip them up into your, into your doorway, you're saving a lot of space on the inside because they're really only like that thick. So pretty easy to uh, flip them back down. If you have an RV that has the stairs that just kind of fold out, these are great addition. They are hinged on the inside, so they still will fold up into the doorway itself and latch uh, onto the door. Really good addition. We are we actually added these uh, like right when we bought the RV. Uh, this is one of the things that we actually added uh, on our own and pretty happy with them. Another cool feature about these stairs is they actually have these uh, channels on the bottom side of them. So you can add things like handles and these step lights. And these are just magnetic, so you can change the batteries really easy. You just pop them right back on. They're actually motion sensors, so uh, as you're walking up the stairs or walking up to the stairs, they come on and illuminate the the, uh, the stairs for you. So no more guessing at nighttime. So all I have to do is basically just install two screws here. Okay. strip on the back side that is adhesive okay and on the front side is a magnet so all we're going to do is face this is the motion sensor here we're going to face that up stick it on there like that and then if you ever need to use this as a flashlight you literally just take it off awesome just magnetic yep magnetic strip so and then how do i recharge it right there yeah there's it's triple a batteries so okay. you just lift the cover up 
slide it back and you're good to go. There's an on switch, there's an off switch, and then there's an auto switch. You can leave it on if you want to use it as a flashlight. You can turn it off when you're going down the road. Yeah, I recommend turning it off so it doesn't sense the steps moving or anything else. All the bouncing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then the auto would be for at nighttime when you're getting in and out of the RV. Okay. So, All right, so we removed these stairs that fold out and because of that, it left a big gap right here. One of the cool things that Morai builds is this little storage compartment that you can actually put in its place and it's four bolts. It's super easy to install and it gives you extra storage. So when you're looking at the space, you have some secure storage and this is where we keep all of our blocks and the wedges for leveling the RV if we need them. Uh, you could put an air compressor in there, it's big enough. It's really cool because you have this storage compartment, plus it locks up, secures your stuff, and you don't have to worry about things as much. Great use of space and uh, really easy to install. Okay, this last one is probably my favorite. It's definitely Cindy's favorite. Uh, since we've had these installed, we have gotten so many questions about these things. Where did you get them? Who installed them? What are they? Because they're just completely different than what we're used to. And what these are is actually T-rails. Uh, they're basically just like a stair railing. But it provides you a hand railing from the top to the bottom of the stairs and it's stu super sturdy. It's screwed right into the side. They have different pieces where they can make different, uh, different shapes. That way, if you have a handle or something here like we did, they can remove the handle, seal the holes up, which is really nice. Uh, the other cool thing about this is, this railing actually has a big magnet right here. And what that does is it keeps it locked against the side of the RV as you're going down the road. So no more having to like pull it over on the side and Pull it back out and the railing comes out to here. Now, super simple. Look at that. These things are so nice. They're on the front and back. These have not been released yet. So these are coming soon. They are on their website. All of the links below to these products uh, to the Moride website. You can buy a lot of these through eTrailer and other vendors, uh, but we got these while we were at the Grand Design Rally. Absolutely changing the industry with something like this. It provides so much support going up and down these stairs. I have fallen out of the stairs before. Uh, I know others that have fallen down the stairs. It's just, if this was there, <laughs> it would have been so nice. Now let's take a look at how they installed it. Put silicone in the old holes too. I do, All right, so that does it for today's video. Between the pin box, the sliding cargo tray, the stairs, the railings, the storage box under the stairs, like all of the stuff made by Moride, and it's made to just make your life a little easier and safer as you go down the road. So if you're interested in any of these products, the links are below. I do not make a commission or anything like that on there. These are just products that we believe 
uh, will make your life a little bit easier and a little bit safer in some instances like the railing. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. Until the next strange adventure, keep making your own.